Welcome back to today's video guys. In this one we're going to be fitting a homemade DIY cup holder that's been 3D printed into the Supra. So as often happens these coin tray holders often break so I thought why not take the opportunity to change it out at the same time and give the passenger or myself a drink solder. So away with that for now. Shout out to Steve for printing this for me. It actually took him, I think, nine hours just for this piece and then another couple of hours just for these top two pieces which are actually going to be on show. Yes, guys, let's address it. It is pink. It's obviously not going to stay like that. We are going to paint this quickly before fitting it. But it looks very, very good, very sturdy. Steve, apologies. I did snap a little bit there, but I've glued it back on and it's really nice and solid. Shouldn't affect anything. Now, I did have a automatic surround off the car so I did test fit it to that before I'm going to take this manual one off so I noticed I had to widen some of the holes so you can see there um, and some other places like there for example you'll see anyway when we um, flip this over what you have to do but basically guys what I'm going to do first actually is let's just go and get this painted so it's looking roughly the same color as the OEM finish. I will link this down below. These do actually cost about 50 quid on eBay. There are people printing them and selling them, but if you do have a good friend with a 3D printer, just send him some black material. Um, it'll save some hassle. <laughs> Steve only had pink, that's why mine's ended up in pink, but I didn't mind because I know I have to plastic dip it just to get it to match the colour anyway. So let's crack on and get this painted. Again, the links are in the description if you want to use the same file we used to print this. Right guys, as you can see it's now painted so I finished off the primer elements and then basically gave it a coat of satin black just so the internal bits got a bit of black on there obviously like I mentioned before these are going to be the bits on show by the time everything's mounted so this is the bit I'm going to concentrate on now to give it a close to factory finish the way we're going to achieve that is using plastic dip paint so I've got some leftover from an earlier project that I was doing so Basically, we're just going to now coat that, give it a few coats so it's got that nice textured feel similar to OEM. It's now the next day. You can see the paint's had its chance to dry. So it's got that nice little rubber texture there, which you can see pretty cool. You can see I've already put the drink in. These two pieces are still loose, so let me just take the drink out for a second. Put the drink away. So yeah, these, like I was saying, these two pieces are loose. You can see there's almost like guiding holes that you can line them up like so. But what I'm going to do is, rather than worry about lining them up here, so hopefully you can see that's roughly in place there in that hole and that hole. And then if you look from the top, you can see it's still slightly off, even though the holes look right. So what I'm going to do is mount this from underneath first. And then at the top, once it's in, what we'll do is just glue these pieces down. Preferably with the can in there, just so you know that the shapes are right. The other reason why I want to do this once the base plate is already mounted is because this holds very tight. So I don't want to guesstimate it almost to start with and then end up in a situation where it's slightly out and it won't come through. So next step, let's get this panel removed. Pretty easy to do guys, there are a few different clips and make it a lot more evident. There's like a few down here and over there. So again, like I said, it'll be a lot more evident when it's here. So I'm just gonna empty out some screws from what I've been working on. But essentially you can see there was one here, one there, one there um, and one here right so one two three four five are your main areas so that's obviously got these little pins which you can see there then the clips etc so just be careful of that a lot of people do snap these when they're coming off now that it's off the next step is let's get this bottom casing off so three screws one two three 
just get yourself a screwdriver. So that's that now off. Just pop that down. Let's get the let's get the mount ready. So we're going to use the guiding pin. What I have already done because I test fitted this on a auto surround, I already knew which screw holes needed to get widened a little bit. But you'll see, basically, as you can see, I'm I'm lining it up there with the guiding pin, right? Um, and there with the guiding pin. So the ones that I had to widen was that one to get the guiding pin through, that one to get the guiding pin through, and the others were okay because they're just going to go with a screw through it. So just keep that in mind, when you print it you will need to do some minor adjustments but it's really easy and straightforward to do. Now we're ready, put the screws back in. Right, so that's in nice and solid, you can see it from the top. You can see there, that's nice and clean, like in terms of very close to the edge. Same on this side, very close. I'm pretty happy with how that's sitting, to be honest. So now what we'll do is pop it back on. Right. Click everything back in. Right, so that's everything clicked back in and like I said now is the time that we're going to try and glue this on top so you can see if I just show you here this is what I meant by it's a very small window to get it right and you see that's effectively how it's going to be guys so pretty cool stuff you'll have your drink in there pull it out so next step is I'm going to mix up some glue and we're basically just going to put it put it in here and just rest it against the back as far as possible. Right, so just going to take some glue out. We're only going to need a small amount guys, so squidge a bit. There, just like so. Suck it back in. And then put the cap back on. And just basically quickly mix this. So the nice thing with this guys, it mixes the hardener and the adhesive quickly together and it sticks really really well. So what we're gonna do is just grab the piece, and put some on the bottom. Try not to get it too close to the edges because you ultimately don't want it seeping out. But hopefully this is clear enough for you guys to see how we're doing it. And if it does come out on the inner side guys, don't worry. Before this glue sets, you can just take like a wet cloth or a um, antibacterial wipe, whatever you get the idea, and just wipe it down. So. I'm going to put quite a bit on there. Right, and then what we're going to do is basically feed it in through here gently. And remember, I said as long as the back's touching, we now know we're good for a guide. So, back's touching, just plonked it down, a little bit of a push, and like I said in a second, we'll get a little damp wipe and just wipe that little bit of excess that you can see there. Nothing to worry about immediately. Like I said, these, look, you can see, naturally really snug anyway. But this little bit of glue will just give it that final, final bit of hardness that it needs. So we'll quickly do the other side. So remember, same thing, get the back lined up. Just like so. And then push in. Just like that. And again, you can see a very small bit of seepage. And what we'll do is take our cloth, just run it around there. So that's it guys, you can see it's nice and mounted now, so pretty, 
pretty decent. Obviously this glue will take a while to set. Um, so I'm not gonna mess around too much with putting the can in, but I'll essentially just show you how it goes. So we'll plop that in and actually use it, leave it in there for it to be a base to settle. So you can see, nice and, nice and snug fitted. Now I've got a perfect drinks holder in my car. Once again, Steve, thank you for sorting this out, printing this out, buddy. You can see the finish is very close to OEM. The rest of my panels are actually plastic dipped. This is a brand new panel because of the manual conversion, etc., that went on. But maybe one day I'll cover it so it becomes 100% identical. But to be honest, for now, it's really, really good. It's going to be functional and yet to see how it's going to work with me changing gears. But at least now I've got an option to have a drink in the car. Um, whilst you're driving around. So, hope you guys find this useful. Like I said, we'll, we'll put the link to the file that we used in the description. It's come out really good, very minimal work. Like I said, the majority of the work we had to do was actually changing the color to black, right? But if you go with the black filament in the first place, you'll avoid all of that. Really good stuff. We might be getting some more 3D printed goodies for the Supra in the future. So, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.